Here it is, baby. This is it. This is our moment. <laughs> wow. Nailed that. That was great. Great form. Yeah. Really good form. <laughs> We're live. That was a horrible wink. I can't wink. I also can't whistle. You can't whistle. You know, you can't whistle. I know. You actually inhale to whistle. I d actually don't. That's you false like information. This. You go like this. <laughs> I'm going to try to whistle, but I'm also don't want to laugh. I don't know if I can get this out. You can do it. <laughs> I think you just make a noise. Oh, my you didn't God. really whistle. Um, you went. <laughs> sounds like a hot tea kettle. <laughs> Doesn't it? There's no like there's absolutely no. Uh, control. <laughs> what I'm doing. <laughs> Zero control. Hey everyone, welcome to the Queer Social. Thanks for being here. I'm Jess, my pronouns are she, her. And I'm Andy, my pronouns are they, them. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Do we have any life updates? Hmm. We moved. We did move. Like we're in. Mm -hmm. We did it. We're in. We are not unpacked. No. We're living in pure chaos right now. <laughs> Which is really hard for me because I'm a very put together person. Organized. And this has been crazy. Nobody preps you to, to move with a newborn either. <laughs> yeah. To cram all of your shit in your house very quickly over the weekend then go back to normal life work mm -hmm. and no time to really unpack so everything's just in boxes we're walking around yeah also if there's any testament to our relationship mm -hmm. on how strong you are as a couple it's moving it's got to be moving <laughs> right yeah and we <laughs> do great together yeah can i'm gonna okay go slap me with it I think we do really great when we move because I do a majority of it. Well, yeah, you're not wrong there. <laughs> okay. But I do contribute in other ways. You Food, you do. taking care of the baby. Mm -hmm. I did the bathroom. You did. Okay, I yes. did some of the food. No, I'm not going to discredit you. You, But you did like our life, basically. So. Yeah, but I think that's just because I need to know where everything is at all times. And I do know yeah. where everything is at all times. I'll be like, do you know where that red sock is I wore three months ago? And you're like, <laughs> top left drawer. And I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> that's the perk of having a very organized partner. Yeah, it is. And it may be neurotic at times. Hmm. It may be annoying at times mm -hmm. but when you're in a pickle like hey where's my passport you or hey know. where's my birth certificate or hey where's my head you screw it on <laughs> that was good mm. that was good yeah thank you for that um what else um i guess a life update for me today is i glued back all of my postpartum <laughs> baby hairs into this slick ass bun congratulations it takes work. Any no. mom who's growing horns on the top of their head knows exactly what I'm talking about. I will tell you, there's eight pounds of hair glue here <laughs> on both corners of my head. So No, you look great. Thank you. I'm feeling yeah. good today. Good. Got a little cranial sacral happening. Oh, that did. Some How body was that? work. It was great. Yeah, really good. You do seem um, more chipper. Hmm, okay. Because I know you have no sleep. <laughs> Zero. Zero. But you're sleep. doing really, really well right now. Yeah, I think I look good for good. having no sleep. Thanks, <laughs> uh, one of us. Yeah. No, no, you look great. Thank you. My yeah. bags. I'm starting to. I'm starting to debate <clears throat> Botox. I love Botox. I'm so scared of Botox. I love Botox. See all these because I haven't been able to do it with pregnancy. Yeah. They're gonna go bye bye, very soon. Yeah. But. I think you look great for not having Botox, but I'm not going to say don't get Botox. Okay. Big advocate over here. We got you that for your birthday. I know. Yeah. My little mommy makeover, little zhuzh. Little zhuzh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm ready for that zhuzh. I'm very ready. You're still beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. What else, um, babe? What do you feel like doing today? 
Do you have an idea? I feel like I want to go down memory lane. Okay, I love love a good memory lane. We did that last episode a lot. Let me let me give some context. Though. Yeah, please. I'm waiting. So I was in a TikTok black hole. Um, okay. And I came across a term for a lesbian called a hey mama. A hey mama. Hey mamas. Okay. What and what's that? Exactly. What is that? Right. So I was like, what is that? <laughs> And I looked and I was like, holy shit. I think I went through a Hey Mama's phase. Okay, wait. I'm (laughs) lost. I know nothing about the Hey Mama. So you have to, like, give me something here. Who's a Hey Mama? Okay, I don't. Am I a Hey Mama? You're definitely not a Hey Mama. Hey Mama is typically a lesbian. Okay, so it's a more Gen Z term. So mm. for us millennials, I think the best counterpart to that would be somebody who s- dresses tomboy or like like Mask. kind of like a stud as well. Okay. Or a stem. A stem, right? <laughs> okay. You just threw a lot of terms out there. Yeah, I don't really know. The terms confuse the shit out of me. Okay. But it is typically somebody who has like a backwards hat on, a Nike bra, possibly a jersey, basketball shorts. Dunks. <laughs> Dunks. <laughs> okay. Or Jordans. Um, backwards yeah, hat. I can and- see that you, that was you for like a long, I, it kind of still is. Minus the jersey. You don't wear jerseys, but are you a hey mama? Don't call me that. Okay. (laughs) I'm not a hey mama, but it made me want to reminisce because Mm -hmm. I was like, do you remember our first time in West Hollywood? I don't want to talk about it. (laughs) It doesn't, it's not a good look for me. We don't have to bring up that part of it. Okay. I think we could just bring up how it was a complete culture shock for me to go to WeHo. Mm -hmm. If you're not (laughs) um, familiar with LA area, WeHo is like the cool way of saying West Hollywood. Yes. So like we went out to WeHo. (laughs) Yeah. It's sometimes like we forget what that's like because we're not back in LA anymore. Yeah. And we both didn't grow up around a lot of gay people at all. I know I didn't. No. None of those around my school or neighborhood. No. Nope. But now that I look back, there's a lot of Cheryl's, a lot of <laughs> a lot of butch lesbians that I was like just weren't out yet. Yeah, for That's sure. That's the Midwest for you. <laughs> In a nutshell. Yeah. So we weren't really familiar with like the I, the, the culture. Yeah. Not at all. The lay of the land. I think the most We didn't know the rules. <laughs> we didn't know how thirsty. No. Women can be. I think our education was the L word at the time. Yes. Education, full blown L word, which was like already intimidating because it's like they do that. Mm -hmm. They do that. Yep. Yeah. And then we went to WeHo and we learned real fast what they do. Yo. (laughs) Lesbians are trifling. They are wild. (laughs) And I'm going to just say one thing. Like you cannot fuck with me. And the person I'm with. I'm just I'm mm-hmm. that girl. Mm-hmm. I'm possessive. Just, just a tad. Yeah. So a little quick. Um, I'll let you do story time. Okay. <laughs> you know, I love a good story time. Yeah. So we were out vibing. <laughs> That's what the kids say nowadays. Everything's a vibe. Gen Z loves the word vibe. Mm-hmm. We're vibing mm-hmm. in WeHo. Mm-hmm. We were doing all the things that you do in at a bar. You stand there and like look really cool and stare at everybody. But like you're actually secretly really uncomfortable, but look like you're having a good time. Mm-hmm. We were doing that. Yep. It's our first time out uh-huh. as a gay couple. Yeah, we were hitting the town. Hitting the town. <laughs> and then we also did that thing that you do when you go to the bathroom with each other. Like the whole train goes to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. We're like, hey crew (laughs) we gotta pee so then we all uh what is it conga line to the i'm gonna say conga line that makes me look 40 sorry for anyone who's 40 (laughs) brandon's like very upset okay oh he's not 40 yet we're good on our way out of the bathroom we made a plan we're gonna go to the bar and get some drinks first we were at um we were at the abbey yep we were um, walking to the bar, Andy was in front of me holding my hand 
walking me behind, whatever. <laughs> and then this big, tall, ginormous woman. <laughs> I think she was like seven feet tall. <laughs> I don't think you can say ginormous. <laughs> Get in your microphone. <laughs> Stay here. Okay okay, okay. okay. She was ginormous. <laughs> she was absolutely massive. Um, towered over me. I'm a good 5'3". She also towered over me. <laughs> yeah, she towered over you. Literally, like, so here we are walking, okay? <laughs> here we are walking. We're in this direction. Giant woman is this direction. We're passing by each other. And all of a sudden, the big woman grabs Andy's face <laughs> like she's going in for a kiss. And I'm fi- I'm like almost 5'3", so I'm going with 5'3". I'm like, no! <laughs> Literally like leaping in front. There's, if you she know the like, Abby- like little Frodo. <laughs> Frodo? I don't think, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I'm thinking more of a hobbit. That's also fucked up. Let's can't. try try again. <laughs> try again. Can we go with something that's like sexy? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Frodo. <laughs> Fucking Frodo flying through the air. Like <laughs> no one wants know. to picture that, babe. You're right, you're right. <laughs> It was just the first thing that came to mind. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> Still so oh attracted my. to you, even as Frodo. <laughs> That's good to know. Let's just go back to the story here. Okay. Okay. So I didn't know what to do. Pure panic. I saw this woman going in to kiss Andy, like literally grabbed you by the face. Yeah. I thought she was going to like decapitate me. <laughs> yeah. I was also so terrified in this moment, too, yes. because little old me was not ready for WeHo, was no. not ready for the Abbey, was not ready for any type of Just experience of what I got to experience my first night out there. That was a huge culture shock for me. Yeah. <laughs> and then to find out just how aggressive some women can be. Mm-hmm. Like I'm all I'm all for it, right? When I'm a participating member, right? You no consent was given. <laughs> no consent was given yeah. at all, and yeah, that was. I was like, help! <laughs> Literally, and I didn't know that because I had we me and Andy had just started dating, so I didn't really like know your internal oh, no, I, thoughts. I keep everything internal because you looked I, really cool, cool about it, which wasn't cool with me. I was not cool about how cool you were with that, <laughs> so I flew into action. <laughs> And I stopped that woman, that giant woman, yeah. from laying one on you. You did. Thank you. Thank, I don't ever think I thanked you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. I was like, this is me. You just had a <laughs> glimpse of me. A little yeah. bit of crazy. Yeah, this was like two weeks in. Yeah, we. this is like our first. Yeah. It's our first like outing outing. Our first outing. But like we were already official. So to be honest, like in the... In the community too, everyone's connected. Everyone, there's, I, when there's we a were connection in Cali- somewhere. Yes, when we were in California, this was like a big thing. We kind of like got to know the ins and the outs fairly quickly. Yeah, we're like, oh hey, have you met Skyler? And mm-hmm. Skyler's like, oh yeah, we fucked on Thursday. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, have you met Michelle? Michelle, last month, <laughs> she was my last month. It's crazy. It is. It is the and wild all, west and, out there. Yeah, it's the wild, wild <laughs> west. And I'm not going to say everyone, right? This no. isn't everyone. Mm-mm. But a large majority of the queer people group mm-hmm. is like this. I think about just like I watch people on TikTok now too. And I'm like, if I was that way when I was 17, mm. Lord, pray Help for you. everyone. Yes. Oh, yeah, <laughs> right. Like, if I yeah. knew who I was and if I was confident in who I was. Watch out. I don't even think I would like myself. I was, yeah, I had my shit, right? Mm-hmm. But I feel like you were able to... Reel you in. Reel me in quite yeah. a bit. Yeah. Also, like, we didn't really experience the gay scene that mm-hmm. much or, like, dating, queer dating, Mm-mm. because we were only with, like a very few amount of people before we met each other. Because we were young. Yeah. 
that's why I think you don't even have like a celebrity crush or like, I don't even know who you're attracted to because you just. Well, we talk about it. Well. No? You asked me to talk about it. I tell you, but listen, okay, back like last episode, we said, Mm -hmm. who's your celebrity crush? And then we talked about it after. And there's like the type of person I'm attracted to is not on the celebrity spectrum. Like there's no one that looks like you who's like. I'm one of a kind. I know, obviously. (laughs) But I'm saying like very mass presenting. Mm -hmm. Like that's what I'm attracted to. So like there's no celebrity that I'm like, yes, no. There's really not a lot out there. You're also not looking though either, which makes me happy. <laughs> right. Okay. I so want you to be me. that obsessed with me because I am obsessed with you. I'm just saying no one that looks like what I'm attracted to in celebrity version. You have like a little glimmer in your eye right now, and that just made that all the better. Yeah. It's because there's a light it's behind light. your head. Yeah. <laughs> and it's right on my face. So it looks good though. You look good. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh this episode is for straight people. Because I say that because they're very curious. We have had neighbors who are very interested in our dynamic mm-hmm. and who want to like older straight couples yeah. who have invited us to dinner mm-hmm. and like you come and grab a glass of wine with me and my wife. No, thank you. <laughs> nope. <laughs> they want to know what's up. Yeah. They're interested in our life, I think they wonder how we have sex. (laughs) I think a lot of straight people just think that we scissor. (laughs) Common misconception, I'll tell you. (laughs) So, mom, don't watch Sandy, skip along. Lisa, skip along. (laughs) Aunt Linda. Skip along, Aunt Linda. Oh my god. I'm just saying like <laughs> we do not scissor, but we are not knocking scissoring because it does work for some people. Yeah, if that's fun for you, <laughs> scissor on. Scissor away. But it's not fun for me. It's not fun. Yeah. So straight people are very intrigued. And I think a lot of people are very intrigued by me as well. Like typically I walk yeah. into a room and people are like, What are you? Yeah. Do you Yeah. Lots of stairs. <laughs> and also, they don't know, like, if you say, like, if you're like, yeah, what's up? <laughs> and hey. then my voice changes because I forget to, like, code. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, ma'am, ma'am. You're yeah. like, no, no, sir's good. Sir's good. <laughs> <laughs> or, like. It's all very confusing. Like, when somebody, I'm talking to somebody in person and I'm coding and I'm like really trying to work on my tone to be code coding is yes yeah, so when I make my voice deeper to like match how energy. I feel yes yeah. exactly who I how I am yeah and when I'm doing that in person with people and then they call me back later for something and I'm like hey how are you you're like hello <laughs> and they're like oh shit wrong number you're like hello <laughs> oh Andy what's up Andy exactly yeah Whenever we go out, I'm almost always the only person that they get the pronouns correct. Normally. And that must that's a privilege. It is a privilege. Thank you. You're welcome. I also realized, and you know this very, very well, when we go out anywhere and run into another, I'm just going to use the word queer person because everyone identifies yeah. differently. Yep. Um, but mostly a mask presenting queer person. Yes. Game on. <laughs> Fucking game on, dude. You get these like these glares that happen yeah. and it's like in it's so funny. It always happens to me always oh, happens yeah. to me when we are out like shopping at the mall. I'll be oh, like Oh, the mall <laughs> is the worst place for these death glares. <laughs> I'll be like shopping. <laughs> I'll be holding Jess's hand, just like doing my own thing. And then I'll just like look up, but it's because I'm like feeling something pulling me to the other side of the Eyes mall. in the back, yeah. And I'm like, what is that? Yeah. And then I look, it's another mass presenting queer person. <laughs> just like Death this. flares. This is the thing. And I don't, I honestly don't know that I'll ever understand it. I, I don't really get it don't either. get it. We're on the same team. We're on the same team. <laughs> We're on the same, one more time, we're We're on the the same same team, team, okay? So, like, I don't understand why you are 
j- either uh, is it a judge is it like judging I'll tell or you is right it- now i don't want you girl right and you ain't gonna get mine right so scoot along <laughs> There or we can be homies because like exactly. at the end of the day that's kind of what it is and it's i like, always say that too too like i'm always like down to meet some homies mm-hmm. like people like-minded people yeah. and then i see i see somebody in public and i'm like oh shit babe look there's one of us there's one of us in the wild especially in look Reno. at them look like, at them yeah. and then i'm like do you think like we could be friends this is weird if i go up to them like i feel like every queer person has had that like do you're i like, say something you're like me i wish Let's- i wish it was a thing that you can like slip someone a business card i know and that it wasn't weird like hey here's my number <laughs> Well, that, you could do that, but that's fucking weird. It like is, you would be judged for that. Yes. You, th- some, if somebody did that to me, I'd be like, okay. <laughs> and it just turns into this whole thing of, like, what do you have on? Who, where, where'd you get your hair cut from? Or it like, feels like a major judge. It and is. It's like the weirdest vibe. I'm like, why can't we just be cool? Yeah. Somebody write into the comments. What is this? One is there a term for this? Yeah. Like what? Also, what is it? Like, what what, ab- t- what is it, period? I don't even know. <laughs> it's like, to me, it feels like a dog marking its territory. And I'm like, yeah. look, you can't claim all of the mall. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you get the East Wing. I have the West Wing. And we got H&M. <laughs> the thing is, is like, I really genuinely wish that it was not like that it's such a weird thing between masks like it's i wonder if gym bros get this gym bros this feels like the closest thing to like a gym bro situation where you're like i wouldn't know because i'm not a gym bro Mm. but like if you're at the gym like big like brandon like big big mm, guys (laughs) pumping iron at the gym and then like you see another guy pumping iron at the gym and then you're like we're on the same team we're both trying to pump but like you're bigger than me so fuck you so i wonder if it's like a gym bro situation okay well as a past athlete i'm gonna tell you that i've never really witnessed the gym bro situation i wouldn't know so that's just my interpretation (laughs) who knows yeah just let me know what it's about like what yeah what is what's the deal that's right you know like what is it i don't get it never understood it why why are y'all like this don't know (laughs) right in writer listeners peter (laughs) oh my god fucking peter yeah we got a horrible comment on our tiktok guys so bad peter said said this podcast (laughs) plays 24 7 at the gates of hell and i was like whoa peter you have a major typo also you meant heaven peter is literally like really suffering inside because i at some point, you had to search some type of queer media for the, us to pop the up. The outed you, Peter. Like, you came on our content. That means you were on the search engine Peter, somewhere. Peter, Peter might be a d- Peter. Babe. <laughs> Can we beep out the word d- Great. <laughs> okay. If you talk shit, you're going to get outed. On. Get outed on the pod. Talk your shit. <laughs> Peter came to the couch. <laughs> Anyways, we're not phased. I'm not phased. <laughs> Happy and in love. You know. Just Don't care what the haters say. No. Never really have. No. Speaking of the community, I feel like we haven't quite found our sense of community here in Reno. There's not a big LGBTQ plus yeah, where are y'all at? Where are you at? Because when I when we went to the parade, oh my god, y'all were everywhere. <laughs> Reno Pride Parade popped off. It popped and off. They were marching. They were biking. They were they were trying bikes. They were. I was like, baby, I need to get in on that next year. I know, but I we ride saw- a motorcycle. Okay, you just want to <laughs> drop that. I wanted to be a part of Dykes on Bikes. Um, ever since I saw it on the L Word, but I never wanted to admit to that i this is my first time hearing about it <laughs> but then like i feel like everybody rides like a harley and i that's not me like i'm not a harley person no your bike is sick thank you yep yeah we saw so many people in this community and then they all hibernate because i we have not seen well you know what though too just i think we need to go out 
We don't go out. So how are That's we? our mistake. You know what? Scratch all of that. <laughs> You're probably around. We just don't leave our house. Yeah, no, but we would like to to find more of a sense of community. I think that we would like some place to just be able to like go and chill mm-hmm. and like feel safe. And it sucks because we had a coffee shop here. Yeah. We loved the space that, you know, we created there. You did a phenomenal job. Thank you. Um, building that business up and it was a safe space for a lot of people yeah that's that was the intention yeah and i feel like we don't really have a lot of places like that where i'm like let me just go there to like work on my laptop for a little bit and like feel like not everybody's staring at me or looking to see what bathroom i go into or whatever other bullshit goes along with being a non-binary person existing in public yeah that's fair this episode is just all about the gays it's all about the it's gays. It's all about the gays. <laughs> I have a legit question. Okay. I'm very curious as to what type of lesbian people would categorize you as. I love this game. I don't know. Also, how do you identify? Oh, that's that's a loaded question. I usually say I was I did identify as a lesbian. Mhm. Um, and then when you came out as non-binary, I shifted, which I think I could still, I think I could still identify as lesbian, but I really just identify as queer because mm. I feel like the umbrella is safe. Yeah. Like, and then if I identify as a lesbian, people could interpret that as like. You're with a woman. Yeah. Or my preference. Is women. Is women. And if you don't identify that way, then you're not my preference, hmm. you know? Yeah. So my safe uh, response is queer. It's funny because I feel like we don't ever talk about that with you. It's always, people are always asking like about me and like- Yeah, what about me? (sighs) Baby, you're my, the center of my world. I know. Okay, so. (laughs) I want other people to ask about me. Okay. (laughs) You guys better ask some fucking questions. (laughs) I, are you coding? (laughs) Something fun for straight people, because this episode's for you. We've already established that. Um, U-Haul, I feel like you should know the term U-Haul lesbian. I feel like that's one of the only terms. That they know, (laughs) besides scissor. (laughs) Yeah, you're probably right. A U-Haul lesbian is basically like... It's it's exactly what it sounds like. (laughs) It's us. We're here. This is it. Uh, You meet. Mm -hmm. You fall in love in three days. Mm, maybe uh, two days two day- quick just quick like and over some bullshit too like the person could have just like opened the door for you and if that was a man you'd be like fuck out of here but if it's a girl you're like oh my god i want to marry you <laughs> yes. let's get hitched yes. let's elope let's move in together a u-haul lesbian is just that you meet you fall in love very very fast mm-hmm. too fast for most <laughs> too fast <laughs> And you move your life. You pick typically, up a- typically, you haul lesbian as well. They're located on opposite sides of the country. Yeah, like we're talking about East Coast, West Coast love. Okay, <laughs> they're, they're well, never. I don't know if that's it's true. never like. Yeah, but- I could be in an apartment thirty minutes away. I'd still move in with you. <laughs> so yes, but I'm what saying, does that say about me? I'm saying that just show- shows like the the links lesbians yeah. will go to be with each other. Yes. Die hard. Die hard. Passionate. Like when I first started talking to you, I stayed up on Skype with the time difference yeah. until like 4 a.m. And I had practice at 6, 6 a.m. And then I would have class by what like What do they call 8. that? Pussy whipped. <laughs> right? And I didn't even get none yet. I know. It still got you. Magical. <laughs> Anyways, you fall in love very yeah. quick. Move in with each other. Mm-hmm. Immediately. You're both on the lease. Yeah. This isn't you don't fuck around. This is not I'm on the lease, but you can move in. You need something to bind each other. It's a binding (laughs) agreement. (laughs) It's that serious. The messier the better. Exactly. And we did that. Yeah, we did, but it never got messy. No, it was it we are a success story. U Haul success story. (laughs) Hannah? Oh, that's good. Yeah. Um 
Yes, we are a U-Haul success story. A lot of people necessarily aren't. There are some, yeah. some, our best friends, literally our best friends. You set them up. Oh my God. They became I'm U-Haul gonna lesbians. S- I'm going to say this really quick. Okay. Okay. Take it away. Sorry. I'm a matchmaker. There's a few people I have put into contact and sp- sparks. One of them being our best friends. Yes. Who else? You're putting me on the spot here. <laughs> one mm. success story <laughs> new career watch that's out that's enough that's enough patty millionaire matchmaker i yeah. got that um one's enough okay oh uh, you're right and this couple was like this is i mean it's our best friends so it's, there's nothing better than your best friends falling in love and it being like real true love and no oh, wait we can yeah. can we yes yeah they, right yeah oh my god and now they're having a baby and now they're having a baby now they're pregnant with their baby it's just it's such a special thing because taylor and i were shitheads together Mm -hmm. (laughs) yeah it's just crazy it's crazy to grow up with your friends especially when you know the hood rat shit that you used to do together yes (laughs) and now we're here (laughs) now we're here i know so i'm a matchmaker if you're single drop your name in the comments i'm just kidding i don't have time for this i have zero time in my life for this so don't do that but I, I do have to pat myself on the back for that one. You do. That yeah. was that was a good one for sure. Yeah. One day I want to do an ASMR really? on this. Yeah, I always thought it would be fun. No? No, I'm I'm I actually enjoy ASMR. I feel like that could be a really fun episode. I did ASMR in the first episode and you said don't ever do that again. I think I did say that. <laughs> But since it's me, <laughs> Welcome this is our to my relationship. Yeah, this is our relationship. <laughs> this is literally. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Anyways, that's. I think that's it for today. I think that's it. <laughs> Just dropping all of our knowledge about lesbians, queer community. <laughs> which isn't the most knowledge if you guys don't have some- <laughs> don't come here to learn anything okay yeah. we are not the ones we are not the ones you came here to hang out on the couch with us you did and that's what you did great okay psych <laughs> i hate that there's nothing worse than that and the shades jessica hates these glasses so much I, she here. told me that they're too big for my face and then that put me into a spiral <laughs> also that do- that did happen so andy take <laughs> andy takes my words like uh, they weigh a hundred pounds they're like little, little daggers daggers but that's not that's you take them as daggers mm-hmm. because you care so much about what i think you're about my you. number one person i want to impress in every and i am impressed part of my life i am impressed but the glasses were a little big that's all i said i was like and he came in the room like yes that. i did you literally came in the room and you were like look i ordered these glasses what do you think so stoked and i was like yeah i yeah i like them they're just a little big and then i did make the remark that they remind me of the 3d when you go see a 3d movie or 4d movie whatever it is <laughs> I did make that remark and then Andy spiraled, like absolutely spiraled. Okay. Like, I'm never wearing these glasses again. Well, here I am. And then today was like, you know what? I'm whipping out the glasses. I was like, good. Self expression, wear mm. what you want. Yeah. My words don't weigh that much. I'm Do, just an opinionated gal. You are an opinionated gal. Yeah. I can't even say opinionated gal. Yeah. I know who I married. Yes. But good intentions. Man, the glasses, I don't know what it is. It just makes me feel some type of way. And I was like, you know what? Jess might not like them and I just have to swallow that and that's yeah. fine. I don't swallow a lot of things in my life, but here I... <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Icky. Yeah. No, thank you. Um, no offense to anybody else out there. Not for me. You- um, I'm, I'm happy that I have the glasses You on made right it now. here with the glasses. Yeah. And now can you take them off? <laughs> so mean to me sometimes <laughs> i love you so much you look great you're gonna edit this out to make you look better i might <laughs> you're, so what yeah. happens when you have no idea what the fuck premiere pro is or is that a protein that- shake <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh my god yeah it is a protein <laughs> shake what is the editing program it's still called premiere pro oh, okay okay i don't feel bad then yeah <laughs> i did not pull a jessica i want to start ending every episode with a trivia question for you or not even trivia it could be just like a question this and is gonna go very bad for me <laughs> today's question is how many inches are there in a foot oh 12 oh okay i do know that is one. that because of the dozen situation no i actually know a ruler i i'm picturing a ruler okay and it's 12 you tried to get me <laughs> you tried next time maybe next time not this time not happening i'm so fucking smart <laughs> cut that's it wrap it up you do the out this time okay, because i've I done saying? it the past few times give it your best go okay give me a second i feel the pressure <laughs> okay Babe. this is what always happens you don't know how to do the outro and then i just take over okay but if you say it then i'll be able to do it thanks for hanging out with us everyone thanks for joining our little couch hangout even you peter we know you're watching why do i even try to compete with that you do the outro i'll do the intro okay go ahead babe okay like subscribe and follow along at two babes one barn and the queer social see you later okay that's good yeah we can we can hang on to that well okay that's gay as fuck <laughs> you're so gay <laughs>